I'm Mark Burns with the Application Equipment Division within Case IH and today we're going to talk a little bit about crop chemical application without compromise. And really when you think about it, the world of agriculture is constantly changing, but the one thing that doesn't change and the one thing that is held constant is the desire to make the most out of every acre as far as that productivity goes. Really when you start thinking about some of the challenges that uh, producers and, and applicators face, really comes into uh, getting into the field at the right time or the timeliness of the application. And secondly, and, and probably equally as important, is the quality of application. M making sure that we're getting the right amount of product at the right droplet size in the right parts of the field. And really, uh, being able to make the most out of every chemical uh, drop that comes out of that sprayer. There are six drivers of application quality. Accurate rate for the job. Optimal droplet size for chemical or combination of chemicals being used consistent coverage, avoiding both overlaps and skips, timeliness, and drift control. Based on our experience and in conversations with producers just like you, really led us to focus on addressing those uh, quality of application drivers. And that, uh, those conversations really led to what you see as the Patriot Sprayer today. We started talking about the drivers that really affect the quality of application, and one of those was the consistent coverage that we're trying to get, even when conditions don't necessarily uh, work in our favor. One of the biggest things that we try to look at is strength and durability in the spray boom, and that really uh, is driven by field experience, some solid engineering time, and then also feedback from our customers. In addition to that, we start looking at the suspension on the boom and, and making sure we're providing a good, solid, stable ride for that boom as it goes over the field and over those different terrain obstacles. Because ultimately what we're looking for is a constant spray pattern height so we get the good chemical overlap that's coming out of our spray tips. And then lastly, you know, using technology that's out there to help make our job easier, removing some of the fatigue that the operator has and continually trying to maintain that optimal spray platform. And with the auto boom, automatic boom height control, we have that capability using uh, ultrasonic sensors on each boom section as well as the center of the machine to automatically adjust that height and maintain that good consistent uh, boom height platform that we're looking for. And then if you really get into some challenging conditions, being able to add in additional boom sensors or even gauge wheels to aid in making sure that we're getting that good uh, spray pattern overlap. Another actor of the Patriot sprayer that helps address that quality of application is the AccuBoom automatic section control. Using the technology that's on the machine to turn the spray system on when it needs to be on and to turn it off when it needs to be off. Using the technology to make sure that we're getting the right amount of product where we intend it to be and only in those areas. From a quality of application perspective, there really is no more important feature than what comes out of the spray tip. And the exclusive AIM Command spray system technology on a Case IH Patriot sprayer addresses every factor that really comes into play from a quality application standpoint. First of all, being able to make sure we put the right amount of product on. Using pulse width modulation technology through the solenoids on each nozzle body, pulsing at 10 times per second is going to provide that constant application rate we're looking for. If we're looking for 10 gallons per acre application rate target, the nozzles will pulse 10 times a second to put on that 10 gallon rate. Secondly, really driving that consistent droplet size over the entire field range from slow speeds to high speed, we're using the product pump to maintain that constant pressure. And that adjusts with the pulsing of the solenoids to get us the right rate at the right pressure even as that speed of the sprayer changes. In addition to that, we can use two different preset pressure selections in the cab. One for uh, the majority of the field uh, interior where we're looking for a consistent droplet size, say at 40 PSI. When we get to a, an area that's drift sensitive or maybe the wind comes up a little bit, we can toggle to a second lower pressure which is going to give us a bigger droplet and help maintain and provide that droplet to get where it needs to be and not go off target. Tying that in with automatic boom height control that the auto boom provides really gives you that best possible coverage. When we start looking at AIM Command, there's a lot of opportunities that tie in with the AccuBoom system too, with an instant on and off. With a conventional sprayer system, when you turn the boom section off, there's a lag time that allows for that application to continue until the nozzle bodies actually shut the spray system off. Then when you turn the system back on, there is also a lag while that pressure builds back up and you get the proper overlap and the right rate that comes out. 
With AIM Command, we use the solenoid to shut the flow off instantaneously so we don't get that overlap which can cause crop damage. And then when we turn the system back on, it comes on at the right rate, at the right pressure. So coming out of that headland, we get the best possible coverage, no skips and no crop damage there as well. From a quality perspective, there really is nothing better than what the AIM Command system provides for us. The next opportunity or the next evolution of that AIM Command spray system is going to be AIM Command Pro. Taking into account everything that the AIM Command has laid out as far as advantages, we're going to take that one step further. Using nozzle by nozzle control, so instead of shutting off one boom section at a time, we're going to start shutting off individual nozzles. So you have a very finite uh, shutoff point, so instead of shutting off 15 foot of boom at a crack, we're shutting off 20 inches of a spray boom at a crack. Really maximizing the use of that chemical and not getting that overlap where we don't need it. In addition, a feature called turn compensation, where as the machine starts to move around contours, we're adjusting the flow across the boom to make sure we're getting the right amount of product over each nozzle so that we're not under applying on the outside where the boom is traveling faster than the inside where we would be over applying and causing some serious damage. The most important agronomic challenge that we're faced with is the timeliness of application and it comes into play with Patriot sprayers really shines. Putting that cab out front, the engine in the back to uh, optimize that weight distribution front to rear which is going to minimize our compaction and also our rutting potential when we get into those wetter soils. High quality and timely application is key to any chemical program uh, as far as application goes. Uh, not being able to hit those timely application windows or doing a less than ideal job has huge impacts in uh, yield potential. Some university and company research shows that if weeds are allowed to emerge with corn and are left uncontrolled while the corn is growing from the V2 to V4 stage, the yield loss is usually more than one bushel per acre per day. Similarly, once weeds begin to impact soybean yield, each additional day they are allowed to compete can result in yield losses of up to 1% per day.